What's up, folks? Coach Ty back at you with another one. And today, we're diving into a topic that affects many older individuals. So this video is not for everyone, but for our uh, older population. Shout out to y'all. And we're talking about preventing aging. Specifically, many older individuals begin to have trouble walking because of a certain medical condition. And we're going to talk about preventing it, making sure it does not happen. If you want to be able to walk when you're in your 70s, the best route to go is bodybuilding. I know that sounds crazy at first, but hear me out. So first, as usual, let's go over our definitions. Merriam-Webster defines bodybuilding as the development of the body through exercise and diet. So if you're going to the gym and eating a certain way to further develop your body, you are technically bodybuilding. Bodybuilding does not necessarily mean that you look like a, you know, roided out of your mind monster. You don't need to, to do steroids in order to be bodybuilding. So that's first. Second, let's dive into the science behind a medical condition called sarcopenia. A sarcopenia is the, it's a condition, I hesitate, I'll tell you why I'm hesitating right now. I hesitate to call it a condition, a medical condition at all, because it's completely preventable. The sarcopenia is defined as the loss of muscle with age. However, you do not automatically lose muscle because you are aging. You lose muscle because you're not using your muscles. And just like many other things, if you don't use it, you lose it. Sarcopenia is one of the main reasons that older adults lose their autonomy and function. So again, if you want to be independent, able to walk and still move when you get into your, you know, late 60s going into your 70s, then resistance training is your best friend. This will prevent sarcopenia. It will also prevent bone density loss. So you may have had a family member or seen a case in which an older individual had a minor fall and they have a bad bone break or have a bad joint dislocation because their bones and joints are not stronger because they have not been being used. So we got to use them. Use it. Trust me. I personally, and this is a, a kind of personal video for me because I witnessed sarcopenia firsthand with my grandmother, God rest her soul. She passed away in 2017 and she lived to be 95 years old, but the last probably 10, 15 years of her life, she was totally dependent upon us. And she, my grandmother was a gangster by the way, she hated have to, having to depend on other people to do minor tasks like going to the restroom or getting out of bed or getting out of her old recliner that she always sat in and told me stories growing up. And again, if she had known better, if working out and resistance training was a thing that was taught to people from her generation, she was born in 1922, then she would not have had that problem. She would have been totally functional and moving all the way into her 80s. Now, can you imagine living for 10 to 15 years and not being able to get off the couch for 10 to 15 years? Doesn't sound like a, a, a good, healthy way to live. I don't want that, I don't know about you. But again, good news here, we can prevent this. And even, in some cases, in many cases, reverse sarcopenia through the use of bodybuilding, AKA weightlifting, AKA resistance training. So let's hop into the research. One research review that looked at 33 studies found that older individuals are actually more likely to benefit from resistance training than younger individuals. This review also found that lifting heavy, quote unquote, weights three to four times a week was massively beneficial for older individuals and them maintaining their independence and their ability to move and function. Another study found that due to sarcopenia and the inability to move properly, a higher amount of obesity. So people with sarcopenia are more likely to become obese because of course they can't move very well. And of course obesity brings with it several other health issues. So you end up with a very vicious cycle and a kind of stacking issues on top of each other when a person starts to experience sarcopenia. So again, we need to avoid it like the plague. Also, these researchers emphasize that exercise, particularly weightlifting, is the safest 
And I should uh, give a little more detail on the safe thing because I think a lot of people don't really view weightlifting as a safe form of exercise. However, weightlifting has one of the lowest incidences of injury across any form of exercise you can possibly do. So it really is the safest method to exercise safer than running. Back to my original point, the researchers emphasized that exercise, particularly weightlifting, is the safest and most cost-effective method to combat obesity, reduce blood pressure, improve glucose tolerance, and maintain long-term independence. Resistance training carries with it all the same heart health benefits of doing pure standard cardio, and also resistance training is inherently protective against diabetes because when you have more muscle on you and when you've been doing resistance training, you have a better insulin response when you consume food. So again, inherently protective against di developing diabetes. A paper revealed that as we age, we lose satellite cells responsible for the development of new muscle tissue. Weightlifting, of course, helps stimulate the growth of these satellite cells, promoting the formation of new muscle tissue and preventing sarcopenia at the cellular level. So if you want to maintain your independence well into your 70s, start hitting those weights. My older folks who may see this, again, start hitting those weights. And if you're a younger person and you haven't started and you're not sure if you should start, just start. Like you don't need to concern yourself with uh, finding the perfect workout and the perfect diet and the perfect, there's no such thing. You just need to start. Just do yourself a favor and start. Remember, bodybuilding is not just about looking a certain way, but resistance training will help protect you against disease. It will help lengthen your muscles, making you more limber. Many people don't view weightlifting that way, but the research is pretty clear on that. Weightlifting helps mobility and um, weightlifting helps your joint mobility massively and again lengthens muscles to a higher degree than static stretching and things like yoga. You know that's a controversial statement please don't get mad at me. Bodybuilding is not just about sculpting an impressive physique it's about preserving muscle strength, improving functionality, and enhancing overall quality of life especially as we age. All right folks so that wraps up our discussion on preventing aging through the use of bodybuilding and even reversing aging through the use of bodybuilding. I use the term aging and most people think like the face, like developing wrinkles on your face. Aging is so much more than developing wrinkles. It is being able to move and to function and, and enjoy your life in that, that last, you know, average, average age for men to pass away is roughly 70, if I'm remembering right off the top of my head. So if you wanna live past that, and enjoy your life past that point, go get you a gym membership. Start hitting these, these bicep curls, man. Make some gains. That'll fix everything. <laughs> Not everything, I'm just kidding about that part. <laughs> Last note, if you are an older individual, you will usually have a lot more injuries than say a 20 year old who's gonna start going to the gym to lift weights. If you do, and you likely do, please consult a fitness professional. Try to find you a good personal trainer with education in the field. Somebody educated, please. Look for somebody with an education. There are no standards for personal trainers. I know I did it for many years at a fairly high level. So seek out a fitness professional who is educated, good, and who cares and prosper. That's it for today, guys. Thank you as always for listening. Please like the video, comment, subscribe, and I will see you with the next one. Deuces.